Hi, I'm Samaru and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to do Little Simsy's Aurora Shell Challenge. So this is the shell. The rules are you can do whatever you want, just don't change Little Simsy's walls. <laughs> And that for me is the hardest part. I want to change walls. There are some horrible walls. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a challenge. I don't think this is going to be as difficult as some of her other ones. But it's the basement, you know? And this little part here that kind of reminds me of Finn the Human. I don't know why. It just It's probably the ears. I think it's the ears. I don't know what this part here is. But this year... Definitely from the human. And then when you go downstairs, we have this little basement. An outdoor basement and then an indoor basement. So, yeah, I am stressed, but let's jump into this video. So this is my second Simsy shell that I'm doing on my channel. And let me tell you, they are difficult. <laughs> this one is a lot easier than the previous one. I will link that video up here if you haven't seen it. But I do like doing these things, but I also hate it at the same time. So I don't really feel connection towards these builds. I, during the building of it, I tend to feel annoyance <laughs> just because I really want to change the walls. And that is the number one rule. Do not change Little Simsy's walls. And I hate it. <laughs> I honestly do. There were so many times in this build that I was like, ah, oh, I wish I could just make this one square larger. Or... Oh, if this was just one square, <laughs> it was honestly every time just one square. I just needed it to be one tile larger at some areas, mostly so that my wall painting can work. So first off, you are going to see that I, I went for quite a dark look. That changes. There's going to be a time jump and then you're going to see that the house looks completely different on the outside. I do use the exact same things as what I'm using here. I just changed the swatches. And I think I actually changed the brick to a base game brick. So yeah, that's the only major changes on the outside. That's also the only like big skip that I do in this video. I just took a really, really long time trying to figure out the color scheme and what I wanted this house to actually look like. I really tried my best to make it work in Brightchester. I wanted to make a, like a university home, kind of like a sorority, but you can't technically do that if you want a kitchen. So, yeah, this is just a residential lot, but this is supposed to be a sorority lot. I absolutely hated that with the university, like all of all three of the university like property thingies, you can't have a kitchen or a stove or anything like that. It's very irritating. I get it for like the main dorm rooms, but ugh, seriously? It, like housing, university housing, I just really wanted to use, yeah, I wanted a stove and like a proper functioning kitchen that was actually quite important to me because, I mean, they live quite far away and also I have this cottage downstairs that's in the basement. So, yeah, that was kind of my idea of why I decided to build in this world, also, was just because of that weird basement, and then, like, open basement that we also have. So, I thought that that would kind of work well here. Initially, I wanted to place this in San Maishuno. But all of the lots were just way too big and I couldn't really figure out 
how to make it blend into the world that well. So yeah, we ended up here. Even though afterwards, once I like did my landscaping, I was like, okay, I kind of wish that I put this like build in, I don't know, Hemsworth on Bagley perhaps. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> She looks good. It's not that she doesn't fit in this world. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just conflicted. I am South African. So yeah, there's... I'm... I get sometimes a little bit nervous when I have to do like, especially British architecture. So yeah. Yeah, especially British architecture. <laughs> like I'm kind of like, uh, nervous. I don't know why. I'm just not familiar with that per se so yeah I kind of tried to make this kitchen also a lot like very cluttered I haven't even talked about this build yet <laughs> so yeah that went for like a green color scheme you probably saw as I was babbling about but I really liked the modernized kind of old style that I went with this build. So yeah, I'm doing the bathroom. I created my own little shower by just placing a half wall and then placing one of the university showers in there. And then I also wanted to have like a rack with towels on it because this is like a bunch of people living in side one house. I didn't want to just like hang normal towels. I kind of thought that that was weird. So yeah, all of the bathrooms in here, except for the one downstairs, they all have pink towels. Now this place is very cramped. I realized that I probably could have taken away that massive glass sliding door, but I really didn't want to. I quite like the cozy, cramped kind of vibe that this place is giving off. I... I don't know. I think it works for what I'm trying to do. So yeah, I'm also just this little nook. It kind of lended itself perfectly to be a, a little study. One of the bedrooms upstairs, they don't have like a desk and like a, a laptop space or anything like that. So I kind of thought that this would be quite cute if they could then come downstairs. So there's that. All of the other bedrooms upstairs, I have three bedrooms. So two of them have like bunk beds or twin beds in them so there's more than enough space all in all this place sleeps six sims so you can have like maybe one or two sims coming here for university the rest can be rented out well not rented out well i guess in a way in a way you can get roommates <laughs> so but the roommate system works really weird in The Sims 4, so I don't know, I think it like gets deducted off of your like um, your housely bills depending on how many people you have, so yeah, I'm not very good with maths, but you can definitely, definitely get some roommates. Now we are going upstairs, here I'm going to actually do the first bedroom, this one is kind of yellow. I was quite frustrated with the fact that with Dream Home Decorator, all of the same wooden swatches, they all are yellow, they all have like yellow bedding, so I was like, oh my word, are you serious? <laughs> So this room turned out to be yellow. I didn't want to use the same bedding, but I did try to go for like a theme. Kind of like they they communicated and all that they saw that the room was like a painted kind of yellow. So they were like, okay, let's like get some yellow bedding. So yeah, that's kind of the, the imagination train that we are going with. As you can see, they are also from... Why did I forget this university's name? I can all of a sudden just remember Foxbury. But this isn't Foxbury. This is the other one. This is the, like, old British style one. I want to say... I know it starts with a U, but... It left my mind completely. So, both of these students are in 
that university, my next bedroom, this one here, this used to be probably like the main bedroom in the house. They are from Foxbury. I went more with like a pinkish vibe, but I kept the yellow as well, just to have some cohesiveness up in like upstairs. Now, as you can see that I am placing the Foxbury flags. We have to have some team spirit. And then I place this cabinet, but I do turn it pink again. I kind of think that it looked better. And then I also just gave them curtains that kind of wrap around the room. And I think that really brought everything together. Even though this room is quite big, I still ran out of space. So I had to kind of turn the the desk sideways. They also have a smaller desk, but there is a computer. And then I also just gave them like one of those drawing tablets. Now, I am just going around and I'm just kind of figuring out what my color scheme is going to be, but I decided to go with this little mint green. It kind of brought back what I do in the hallway and also downstairs. So this is the only single bedroom upstairs, the bedroom in the, like the little apartment downstairs in the basement. That one also only has one single bed. I didn't want to add a double bed in here because I kind of thought that, well, in any of the builds, not that I could, this is quite small, but I kind of didn't want them to feel left out. Now, even though this bedroom is the smallest, I would love to live in this one. I think this would be the bedroom that I would have chosen for myself, even though there isn't a desk, you can still study on your bed. I think it looks nice, it's quite cozy, it's quite cute. So here I am doing the bathroom, the upstairs bathroom. So as you can see, you have a sink, you have your tub, you have a shower, we have our toilet, we have everything that we need. And then I kind of just put the towels on top of the, that counterpiece, the same pink towels, because that's the only one that has like a white frame, which is quite frustrating. Again, I kind of wish that we could just have the same frames in everything, like a set base and then things around that. But then again, also, I don't know, we have like such limited wood swashes that, that would just limit everything else. So don't mind. We actually just need a color wheel. I cannot wait for Project Renee <laughs> so that I can actually color wheel my stuff in The Sims. That is going to be amazing. So in this entrance, I knew that I wanted some planters, but I couldn't decide which side or where. So I kind of place both on each side, so you see that I decided on the round ones. Now, here I'm just adding like a little table with some coins and like keys and some cell phones. So, this is just like a little table for if you have to go somewhere and you just need to grab something. I don't know, maybe you need some coins for some parking or, I don't know, some steamed buns and chips. What? What do university students eat these days? I don't know. Now, here we are going downstairs. And I am... Um, at first, I kind of wanted to go with the same color scheme, which was green. But then I decided, no, let's go blue. Because I actually wanted to use this couch from the pastel kit with the cow swatch. But I do change that to just the normal blue. The cow swatch, it was kind of a bit much at the end. It didn't really match the build, but I quite like this little flat area as well. I had to place a lot of things on top of the desk just so that things would stop clipping and so that I could actually just place my books. So that's why it looks a little bit messy. There I go around and I just delete everything and then it looks so cute and cozy and lived in. <laughs> this place, the... The kitchen doesn't have a zinc, but that's okay. There is a zinc in the bathroom and also upstairs. So I kind of feel like the sim probably doesn't always use this downstairs kitchen. They mostly eat upstairs with like their friends, but if they wanted to, they can maybe during like massive study hours or exams or something like that. Now, I kept this room very plain. Yeah, I also add some Foxberry flags, 
But I didn't want to go overboard with like decorating here. I liked the subtle blue that I just left everywhere and I didn't really want to ruin it. Now we're going to the bathroom. This bathroom only has a shower, a zinc and then a toilet. And now it's time for the gardening. And as you can see, this really doesn't look like a place that is supposed to be in this world. I don't know. It kind of matches. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Leave a comment down below what you think. If you think this, this matches this world. If you think I should have actually placed it in Hemsworth on Bagley. Or maybe even Winchester. Just leave a comment and I will actually move it. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going around and I'm actually just placing some flowers. I'm just following it up. There I realized oh, I went a little bit overboard, which I usually do when it comes to wall ivy. So, I need to tame myself. We need to slow down a bit. I also just add all of these beautiful purple and pink hydrangeas and then just some bushes. And then I just added with these little fluffy white flowers that came with romantic garden stuff. I think this garden looks so tranquil and it the garden kind of matches the world. I took all of the flowers from the surrounding areas and I tried to work with that but I also just wanted everything to feel uniformed and together. Now I only placed these two trees. These are also the trees that you will see around the world. And then I didn't want to go with a normal mailbox, so I went with this one from Snowy Escape. I love this wall mailbox. We definitely need more of them. And then I just go around and I just add some lighting on the outside. I didn't want to go like overboard with the outside lighting, so I basically just placed them by the doors and then kind of by the stairs. And now I'm just doing this little courtyard basement area. So I gave them like a barbecue, a seating spot, some more planters. And I placed the dustbin there. Now, I think in a whole, I really like this build as, yeah. But let's just jump in and I can actually just show you around and kind of explain a bit more. Okay, here we are back in the game. So I'm just quickly going to show us around outside, even though we just saw it. I really love the house from this angle. This is probably my favorite, <laughs> I have to say. Now, once we go inside, I am going to start from the top and then I'm just going to work my way down. So here is our first bedroom. I really like the pink and then all of the posters that oddly just bring all of the colors together and like this green wall. Here we have our second bedroom. This one is a lot smaller, so as you can see, it's not as cluttered. Our main bathroom, we need a couple of showers and like toilets in this place. We only have three, but I feel like that is fine for six sims. Might get a little bit cramped sometimes, but you can do. And then just our little towel towel rack <laughs> through here we have our third and final bedroom this is how you bright you bright that is the university's name it's been bothering me but now i know and also it seems so obvious i cannot believe that i didn't actually realize it so yeah here we have our you bright children well teens not teens university adults oh young adults i don't know this took me a while it's because i'm thinking of the u bright anyway moving on downstairs here we have just this beautiful gallery wall with just some more books there's a lot of places where your sims can actually like access some books and then this beautiful little desk area someone is clearly studying hard as you can see, there is more than enough seating spots in this place for your sims to do like homework and study or whatever they're busy with. This beautiful cluttered kitchen with all of the cups, if they are clean, they just not put away. And then here we have our second bathroom, the downstairs one with just our secondary shower. And then this beautiful, beautiful sitting area that I absolutely love. I love these couches. 
I want these couches, but I want them in, like, a beautiful, like, brown in real life. Like, honestly, oh, stunning, stunning. Why is there, like, a mud puddle? <laughs> I just realized it's not even raining. What's going on? Anyway, let's go downstairs. So, uh, here we are met with just some more planters, our barbecue spots, some faux planters, some more seating. Always need them seating. I like this little courtyard. I think this little courtyard is quite cute. In here, we just have our tiny little kitchen. She's functional, but there's no stove. No? There's a stove. Which one is the stove? I <laughs> all of a sudden cannot remember. But one of them is not there. One of them is not there. So here we just have also our cute little TV area, this bedroom, and then their bathroom. Thank you so much if you stayed the entirety of this video. I really hope that you liked it. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you think I should move this build. Also, I want to know, have you done this shell challenge? Did you find it challenging? And then I hope to see you all again. Goodbye.